Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Kelly Eckerman. A man federal investigators say is an agent of the North Korean government is accused of conspiring in a ransomware attack against a Kansas hospital. KNBC 9's Andy Alcock is joining us live from outside the Robert J. Dole Federal Courthouse in KCK, where the U.S. attorney has just announced a new indictment against this man. Andy? Yeah, Kelly, that man is Rim Jong Hyuk. He's accused of being part of a group attacking hospitals, one here in Kansas and also in other parts of the U.S., as well as other health care providers. The U.S. attorney did provide a picture of RIM earlier today. Investigators claim RIM used laundered, extorted money, including cryptocurrency, the Kansas hospital paid to fund additional computer attacks into defense, technology, and government entities worldwide. The list of victims in the indictment includes NASA, Randolph Air Force Base in Texas, Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia, and defense contractors in Oregon, Massachusetts, California, and Michigan. According to the indictment, money raised from ransomware attacks against hospitals and health care providers in Kansas, Arkansas, Connecticut, Florida, Colorado, and a South Korean company were used broadly to advance North Korea's military and nuclear ambitions by targeting missile, aerospace, and uranium processing technology. Thankfully, the hospital contacted the FBI soon after the ransomware attack. And because of this early engagement and the hospital's ongoing cooperation with the FBI, the FBI was able to identify a cryptocurrency account linked to the scheme, and the government has forfeited the funds and is in the process of returning them to the hospital. Now, the U.S. attorney is not naming the hospital as part of this indictment. While Rim now faces a two-count federal indictment, it's unlikely he's going to go to trial anytime soon. Rim is believed to be in North Korea and, again, is also believed to be an agent of that government. So, barring a regime change or some kind of a deal we don't know about, he is not likely to be back here in Kansas to trial anytime soon. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in downtown KCK, Andy Alcock, KNBC 9 News. Thank you, Andy. And the U.S. State Department also announced the Reward for Justice program. That program offers up, up to a $10 million reward for information leading to the identification or location of anyone acting on behalf of a foreign government engaging in cyber attacks against U.S. critical infrastructure.